Welcome to Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use elevations. So the first thing you need for elevations is you need a wall to build an elevation of. Well, I happen to have four of them out here on my design, so we'll go ahead and use these elevations. Now there's a couple different ways we can go about building elevations. We can click on the wall, and when it's highlighted blue with the pretty little handles, we can come up here and click on our elevation button and it'll build an elevation for us. You see I've got a few elevations already built. Once you come back into the elevation you may have to resize it. So I've got the uh, range wall, I've got the refrigerator wall, I've got the range wall again, I've got the refrigerator wall again. So you can see we can have multiple elevations. Now before we clean up these extra tabs, because we can delete these, we can rename them, and we can do all sorts of stuff with them. But before we do that, we're going to take a look at the other way to build an elevation. So I'm going to leave my elevation window open. I could close it, but we'll leave it open for this. And we don't have an elevation of the sink wall yet or of the bar wall. So I'm going to right click on this wall and I'm going to come down to choose wall and wall number two. And here we have inside elevation. So I'll click on that and it pops my elevation up. Now we've got doubles on this elevation. So if we want to delete one of these, we simply highlight the tab. We can delete tab or we can edit view. We're going to choose delete tab. I'm going to come down here to this one or this one, there we go, we'll take number three and we're going to right click on it and we are going to delete this tab as well. Now we have the stove, the refrigerator, and the sink. So now I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to edit view L5 and here I can rename it. And I'm going to name this sink wall. And we're going to hit OK on that. I'm going to jump to L2, right click, edit view L2, and we're going to name this one Reefer Wall. And L1, edit view, you guessed it, Stove Wall. And now you have an easy way of remembering which one of these tabs refers to what wall. Now there's a few other things we can do in elevation since we have it open. We can place cabinets right into elevation itself. So I'm just going to randomly grab a cabinet here. I'm going to come out and just click on my elevation wall. And here it drops it in place and allows me to slide it up and down the wall and place it where I want it. I can also up down from here by simply grabbing the tab and you'll also notice that my info panel over here is working. So if I need something different than the 12 inch dimension here from the top or the 54 to the floor, I can simply type those in. It also works when I was dragging it across sideways and you can set your distance from the end wall using your measurement tab as well. We can also edit items by going to attributes right from the elevation tab. Now, one more thing we want to look at before we leave elevations is I want to right click on my wall down here and this is my little eating bar wall and I'm going to go to the wall attributes and here I'm turning on the outside zone and I'm going to click OK on that. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a base cabinet. Now I really won't have any base cabinets on the back side of this but we're going to put a couple on there because there's a feature here that I want to see. Zoom in a little bit, and we're just going to grab a base 30 and drop it out here on our wall. And then we'll grab another one and one more. And there we've got a few base 30s on this back wall. Now the reason I did that is I want to show you how to grab the elevation off of this wall. If I highlight this wall and click my elevation button, I get the front of that wall. How do I get the back of that wall? If I want an elevation of my three base 30 cabinets there, how do I get that elevation? Well, here you right click on the wall, select your wall, and then notice here we've got inside elevation and outside elevation. 
So we'll click on outside elevation and there's the elevation of the back of my island. So this has been our using elevations video tutorial. Thank you for watching.